Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> it's me, Mystic Beauty, and um, I'm here to do your um, weekly energy reading for the sign of Pisces. Okay, and right off the bat, I see that someone, a relationship or something that you were in started off as stable. Like at the beginning of the relationship, it seemed to be very stable. Like there was actually stability or it had potential for um, stability um, I feel like it kind of just fell off like I feel like there was no equal give and take in this in this relationship like there was no balance this is come on okay yeah um, there was a lack of equal give and take there was no balance I feel like um, you know you viewed this person as your soulmate but I mean, I just feel like they wasn't offering you anything. They wasn't offering you anything. I feel like this relationship lost its passion, lost its luster. Um, I feel like you made a judgment call to um, cut this person out of your life or to take your offer back from this person because of some deception that you found out. Um, yeah, I feel like you found out about some deception. Um, either... Someone told you this. this is something you found maybe on their phone, um, on their Facebook, something dealing with social media. But I feel like you, you know, you lost the faith for this relationship or for this friendship. I feel like you received some type of mental clarity. You're not seeing that um, the ball is in your court. You're feeling like you're not even you're not having strength. Like you're feeling the situation is making you weak. I feel like it's draining your energy. Um, I feel as though you're actually you're if you're this person, I'm really feeling like it's you though, it's coming out of feeling regretful, feeling like, well damn, why give this person another chance? They just fucked over me again. Like I feel like you're coming out of that. You're coming out of feeling defeated. You're, it's like you're no longer feeling defeated. You're fi you're you're receiving some type of um, spiritual enlightenment. But yes, yeah, someone is definitely um, was moving slow with an offer, or you just took your offer back from this person. What else, universe? What other messages? You messages? I think talk um, for the sign of Pisces. What other messages do you have for the beautiful sign of Pisces? Yeah, you put in a lot of work. Either you or this person put in a lot of work in this situation. Um, somebody wanted something very traditional. Are you, I mean, at the beginning, maybe you wanted to marry this person. You, you saw this person as a potential um, husband or wife. You also may be receiving some, um, some communication from someone at a distance. Someone or someone at a distance may want to take a leap of faith faith with you or you want to take a leap of faith with somebody at a distance. Maybe you want a new chance with this person. This person wants a new chance with you. I feel like someone is, you know, wanting to come out of conflict. I feel like they're going to be calling you, getting contact with you to let you know that they want another chance with you. That they're, they're ready to come out of um, conflict with you. <laughs> That's funny. I'm sorry. I feel like that's the problem. It's like they got this pride, this ego. You know, it's like, damn, I want to call this person, but I don't want them to know I miss them type shit. Like, you know, that's childish. This person is in conflict with themselves on even reaching out to you if y'all aren't talking. Somebody's not listening to their intuition about the situation. Maybe, um, you know, the universe has been sending you signs. Someone could be having some financial problems right now. Um, a possible loss of a job. Someone could be indecisive on what career move to make as well. Maybe you're thinking about going to another job and you're just uncertain. Someone's juggling decisions, something dealing with career. I 
I feel like you're in a place now where you only want the truth. Um, if this person comes back in your life, if you allow this person back in your life, you're only accepting the truth. So I feel like you're willing to hear them out. You're willing to, you know, accept them back in. But it only if they're coming to you with the truth. I feel like someone is pregnant or um, should, you know, pregnant and don't know that they're pregnant. And maybe this is some truth that's coming in. Somebody may be coming in and telling you something about a pregnancy that you don't know anything about. Um, this could be the father of your children. Somebody's just not having hope about this situation. Could be dealing with the Leo. You could be dealing with the Libra. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. A Gemini. Yeah, um, somebody's taking time to their self to reflect on what's best for them right now. Because I feel like, you know, like I said, this, this situation had a lot of potential. But there was definitely some deception which made a person take their offer back. What else, Spirit? Somebody um, could be dealing with someone who's very selfish, greedy. I mean, they keep their money to themselves, their their emotions to themselves. Or someone could just be holding on to someone and just not letting them go. This person that's coming in that I feel like is trying to come back who wants something traditional with you, um, they could be holding on to you. Or you could be holding on to them. Somebody's holding on to somebody. This um, place the people in the reading as need be. But I feel like someone is stuck in their head about um, a situation. But the thing is, is that it's like a mental prison. You're only stuck in your head because you choose to be right now. You feel like there's no way out of a situation. But you, you do have a way out. All you have to do is release yourself. Sometimes when people see the hermit card, they feel like, oh, that's bad. You know, like that's a bad card. Like when somebody's in hermit, like they're not doing nothing. There's no movement. But I view the hermit card as a good card. I mean, that means that you're taking time. You're thinking things through. You're not making any rash decisions. A lot of times when people go into hermit mode, they come out um, spiritually enlightened. They come out thinking on a different level. Um, when you go into hermit mode, Spirit is able to communicate with you and relay messages to you that you probably wouldn't have received otherwise. Somebody is just not having hope in this situation. They're they're not fulfilled in this situation. I feel like that's the, that's the reason why you took this offer back from this person because, I mean, I feel like, you know, once you found out about this deception that was a wrap for you i feel like um but this person isn't wanting to walk away from you this person isn't wanting to walk away from you they don't want to let go but how do you not want to let go and you're the emperor in reverse like you're arrogant you're selfish i mean you out here thinking that you can't touch like you could just help anybody that you want like it don't go that way like, it just don't go that way. I mean, you can't out, out here being controlling and possessive. They want to do what they want to do. But as soon as it's your turn, like, as soon as you put the game on two player, they don't want to play no damn more. They, it's cool when it's on one player, but give me give me a controller. Now they don't want to play. So you don't go like that. You're tired of waiting for your ships to come in. Like, you're tired of waiting for this motherfucker to get their stuff together. I just really feel like you just don't see... Like, once where there was stability, no more there's stability. Once where there was stability, you don't feel like there's stability anymore. And I feel like you're taking your offer back from this person. I feel like you've stayed up at night. You've lost a lot of sleep. You've cried over this situation. And I just feel like you just have to do what's best for you. Because this this, this uh, situation is lacking passion uh, at the moment. Yeah, you, you're leaving somebody out in the cold. Because of lack of um, lack of stability and a lack of a person just being faithful. I feel like this person is wanting to come back though. Because when I shuffled the, recon the reconciliation card came out. Which let me know that somebody from your past is trying to return. 
somebody that um, still views this situation as having passion. Or you feel like there's still some passion here. But under the deck, it's love yourself first. So, I mean, goddamn. You know, sometimes you have to walk away from people that you love in order to love yourself first. Because ain't nobody going to love you like you do, right? Universe, what other messages do you have for the sign of Pisces? What other messages do you have for the sign of Pisces? Is the grasshopper spirit it says take a leap of faith but right along the side of it it says know your worth skunk spirit know your worth so i mean i just said that you took your offer back from this person because they was being less than faithful to you they was being less than true to you and i mean it is taking a leap of faith for you to just walk away from somebody that you does have your heart you do love this person but i mean it was just less than what you deserve and also with canary spirit it says sing your own song so you may just have to go off and just find yourself because it's, it's too often it's too easy to lose ourselves in the wrong people it is so easy to lose yourself and lose yourself in love. Who got that song? Is it Lose Yourself in Love? What? I, I can't even think of the name of the girl's song. She used to sing with Floor Tree, Marsha, Marie, Marsha, Amber. Oh, fuck it. Okay. Um, don't lose yourself in love, okay? Um, Spirit wants you to know your worth. Take, take a leap of faith and sing your own song. And what else? These cards. Spirit, give us a little song, song for the road. Give us a little song for the road. What is the most important message that Pisces need to hear? What is the most important message that Pisces needs to hear? What's the most important message that Pisces needs to hear? in silence peace prevails so earlier in the reading when i said that the hermit going hermit mode is not always a bad thing sometimes you have to pull yourself away from a situation to actually gain clarity on a situation you can't hear and see what's going on when there's a bunch of noise and people in your ear telling you, you know, what, what they think what's best for you. Don't nobody know what's best for you except you. And it's a hold to course. So pretty much stay on track. Hold your course. You know what I'm saying? Like, and also it's a smooth sailing. Everything is going as planned. Spirit wants you to know that everything is going as planned. It's just going to be smooth sailing from here. Once you decide to take this leap of faith and that when you realize your worth, you ain't going to be accepting nobody no damn way that's out here sneaking and creeping and freaking. Okay? You're not going to do that. And your show, I mean, Rick, the reconciliation card looks all good when it's, when it's sliding out the deck, but what are you bringing though? You know what I'm saying? If, if, if you change, that's all good, but if you're coming in as a knight, that's not good. I don't even think I got a king on this damn table. And if I do, I might feel like he's in reverse. Yeah. 
I love y'all and be blessed, okay? Bye.